This is the sort of the Eldritch deck that I would play for the Light event, Light vs Dark event. I was just playing a bit of Tia, but I thought Eldritch is probably a decent option for this event. Probably better than the rest of the Light decks, but I think the, the Dark decks clearly are the most represented. You've got Branded, Tia, Blackwing, Hero, to say the least. So I think the Light um, decks are massively <laughs> underpowered compared to the Dark decks. So I'd probably say the Light... Um, or the, this Eldritch deck is probably one of the best light, light decks you can play. So it, I was playing it for a little bit early and it was catching quite a few people off guard. Um, I haven't got all the gems to sort of max it out with how I would play it. Um, I'm currently trying to save it up for the upcoming packs. But this is kind of like a template. You might have a lot of these cards already uh, in your uh, storage or your arsenal. So you should be able to craft up this deck pretty cheap. So I'll just kind of explain the gist thing. So play uh, Vela. Veil is a cool card for the light uh, sort of side. It's a cool hand trap and you can have some synergy with it, which will go over in the extra deck in a little bit. Uh, two Lord, two Duality for consistency. You're probably asking, uh, Duality is not great in the grind game, especially when you special summon in Lords and traps. But turn one, you kind of want to see high impact trap. Um, so you want to maximize the chance of that happening. Uh, goods can be good to like sort of set you up for consistency. As you notice, we don't play Eldland, so Goods is a way to accommodate for that. I didn't think Eldland was really worth playing. It doesn't really like give you so, like that much because the deck already, ha deck already has a grind game. So th this could potentially be cut for another trap or um, keep it in for consistency. So it's always good to like send um, one of the continuous cards to get you into an Eldixer on your opponent's turn, which shows really strong. Uh, both the really powerful pots are at one. Extravagance and Prosperity, but we can play both, which is really nice. Uh, playing two Called By and then one of the White Stone, the Black Stone. It's good to have for Grand Game. And then we have probably the best trap in the deck, I'd say. Second best trap. Mm, actually, no, it's the best trap. I'd say Treasure Tribute is actually insane. So, so good. Especially in this format. Like, no one really sees it come in. Um, you get so much value off it. I've seen people go like neg three, neg four, um, and just lose to this card single-handedly. So yeah, really good. Same with Storm Mirror Force, really good card. They did clear and sack, you bounce all the extract monsters. Uh, pretty solid card. Good going first and second. That's why I kind of like these cards. Uh, Dynamiscus, good spot removal. And um, yeah, it's good if you like open too many lords, which I did earlier, it's good to just like pitch one in grave. Um, happened a few times where I had both in hand, which kind of sucked, but it's good to sort of play around that. Picture a dead engine card, spot removal, uh, just target, but it is a banish, which is really important. Uh, Imperm is just a lot of decks in the format um, rely on like a normal summon, or a lot of them um, just lose to like a single negate. And if you can sort of, if they can put a negate on the field or a card that can't be destroyed, and you like Imperm, Torrential, or um, Imperm, Dynamiscus, yeah, it, it, it felt really good. Good utility. Could probably be cut for the evenly matched. I think that would be a decent option as well, but I liked it in the deck. Uh, three, Aldixa, of course, probably the best card in the deck. Uh, one Judgment, three Strike. I was playing with one, so I only have one, but I would play three because of the combination where you open, you know, Extorium Mirror Force plus Warning, uh, sorry, uh, plus Strike. Torrential plus strike. These combination of cards just win you games on the spot. So they're really strong. And then I'm playing quite a heavy package of continuouses because of the grindy sort of format. Um, and we have some synergy in the extra deck, which we'll go over in a bit with the variance of levels. So that is the main deck. Pretty pretty solid. Probably one of the best light decks you can play. And I really like the fact that um, no one really like expects... Um, like Torrential Tribute, no one really expects the Dynamisca, so people don't really play around it. What, p what people are doing though, they're, they're prepping for Labyrinth, so I did get hit with some main deck Lightning Storms earlier, which actually was awful, but it happens. Uh, extra decks, so honestly, <laughs> a bunch of these cards are synergy cards with either Vela or they are level f uh, rank 5 XYZs. We don't play Constella Pallades. Because it's an ultra rare, I kind of use these events to 
farm up gems. I don't want to spend gems on decks because that for me is like a bad trade. I'm trying to use this event this event to get some gems, uh, use it to spend on the packs and decks that I want to play on, on ladder. So I don't really want to spend deck, spend gems to specifically play certain high-end cards for this tournament that I might not play in the future when I'm trying to like accumulate gems and resources anyway. So yeah, that's the reasoning with that. So just a couple of generic rank fives. Obviously got Zeus on the light side, which is really nice. Uh, Security Dragon, really nice card. Lila, as well as the Selene combo, but no Axis code because it's on the dark side. Uh, and then Griffin, and then yeah, just a bunch of generic links. But that is pretty much the deck. I mean, it's, it's I mean, Zeldlich, you're probably going to pick up some free wins. Um, if you want to like farm the event, get some free gems, see how far it takes you. And use those gems to to boost your deck up on the ladder. I think it's a great little starting point. Fairly cheap. I think it's in the main deck. Uh, obviously, Impims, Strikes, Warning, Ultra Rears, Two Lords, Veilers. You should sort of have these cards already. If you don't, you can certainly just cut some Ultra Rears, like the Call Buys, the Strikes. Play like lower impact trap cards like um, Compulse, which is like a rare, I believe. Uh, if I can search. Yeah, it's literally a rare. So you can find like little little high impact cheap cards on the um, sort of storage system uh, craft them up and they probably serve you as good as purpose as uh, the ultra is so yeah give it a go let me know how you got on enjoy the event and i'll see you guys in the next video